Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups, fans of Serif Software and Affinity Designer and Photo Group. Now this is an Affinity Photo tutorial and it is sort of aimed at beginners but people like myself who have been photo editing for, for quite some time um, will probably learn something from this because I did as well because it was a feature that I didn't know about until it was pointed out to me um, and that was done by John Collins who was, said he was mucking around with the mirrors um, distort filter and he found an effect that he wasn't really expecting so we're gonna, I'm going to have a look at that effect um, and how you can use it now this image I'm using, you could use any image you want, I'm just using this one because it's one I just recently got from pixabay.com but the actual image is only um, for this demonstration, it's not necessarily important. So the thing we want to look at is the filters which comes is on the menu along the top of the screen and you have the filters and then down to distort and as you can see there are, are quite a few different distort um, filters now they don't all have this effect um, there's only about six of them that do but let us start with the mirror one which is what John Collins um, used uh, mentioned in the original post now first of all I'm going to have a quick look at what the mirror distort does because at the moment there is just one mirror um, in this particular filter so you have the original and the mirror image underneath and if you increase the number of mirrors it will alter the the look and if it you know this works pretty well if you wanted to use this as maybe for a style um, you could make your own styles using different patterns that you get from altering the number of mirrors that are being used and again you can alter the effect by changing the input and output so again that could make quite quite a good style um, let me just put everything back to where it was So what John found was that if you click and hold and move inside the image you can alter the effect itself but it doesn't alter the number of mirrors so if I just click here as you can see I can move this up and down like that if you increase the mirrors uh, number of mirrors let's go to five you can make even more uh, different effects by clicking inside the image and moving it around so this feature of clicking inside the image to alter the positioning of the distortion it is documented in the help files but I mean if like me you'd probably never read the help files unless you really have to so you know this is a feature that you wouldn't necessarily notice unless you happen to do it by accident so again you can you know, just alter the out, uh, input and outputs to get all sorts of different patterns to make styles with if you want so let me just cancel that and go back to our start image here so like I said there are about six different filters that have this same sort of feature that you can use um, the next one if we come down to distort is twirl now twirl as you can see uh, if you can see this the middle section here is twirling around and then you can I'm not 100% certain why they're bothered with the oh, I see it twirls in the opposite direction so you can go either to the twirl to the left or twirl to the right 
but again if you click inside the image and just hold down the left mouse button you can move around and twirl different parts of the image not just the center where it starts out all right so I'll cancel that one next one we're going to look at is the pinch and punch now this is again this this, this pushes up as far as it will go you can sort of punch out the image or you can pinch in the image using the sliders but again you can click and move that effect to anywhere you want it on the screen yeah there's a lovely effect for you so I will cancel that one and we'll come to spherical again I'm going to push this up to the maximum and it's really just it's a bit very similar to the pinch and punch but it just sort of punches out but it's rather a sort of one large area and again you can move this around to anywhere you like on the screen All right next one we have is ripple and yeah, this has some sort of weird effects it's um, depending on what you want to do with this but again you can move that effect the center point of that effect anywhere you want around the screen so I'll cancel that one and the last one is the lens distortion now this is a bit similar to like the pinch and punch and the spherical but it sort of distorts the whole image not just a certain area so you can sort of move in and out like that but again you can alter that effect let's go that way for a change you can alter that effect by clicking and moving around the screen like that so I'll cancel that right so there are the six effects um, which I've made a quick note of here you've got mirror, twirl, pinch and punch, spherical, ripple and lens distortion that way you can use this feature where you click inside the image um, after you've made your adjustments and reposition where the effect will take place now one thing I do want to mention is that if you're using filters so sort of basically any filters but not these distort filters um, on an image once you click apply and what have you that is it um, you can't sort of go back and re-edit it if you make a mistake or you think you've made a mistake um, the adjustment is sort of set in stone and you can then if you want to you know redo it you'd have to literally go backwards and delete things and restart again which is why it is probably best if you're going to use these filters is to use them as live layers you come to the layer menu you got new live filter layer as you can see ripple twirl spherical pinch and punch lens distortion they are all available as live filter layers so but the only one I can't see there is mirror they don't seem to have mirror available um, but I'll go with the ripple one and again like you can move this around by clicking on the inside and having sort of a weird effect but the beauty of using it as a layer is that is now a sort of sub layer of the background 
and it has its own layer mask so if you wanted to lose some of that effect in certain areas you could just get black and paint on the layer mask to hide that effect from the image. Similarly if for example you had added a um another layer where should we go? We we'll go with um levels for example and I'm I'm not really worried too much how this looks but I'll close that down. Because this is now on a extra layer you can go back and re-edit the ripple effect so if I double click on that it will open up the adjustment so I can go back and alter how that looks which you couldn't do if you went via the filters menu so if you really know what effect you are looking for and are happy with what you pick you can go by the filters menu but if if you think at some later date you may want to go back and tweak the settings I would advise using the layer and new live filter layer obviously like I said that not all of those are available I mean the obvious one I can see is mirror but I'm guessing there are some other filters that aren't available as new live filter layers so hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say here and you will give it a go and see what effects you can make now I'm not personally a big fan of using the distort option in images I personally don't feel the great need to distort my images but I can see where it could be quite good for making styles which are if you haven't used them before is the styles tab is over here and you can add an effect to something say for example like text let me just quickly add a text here and then if you click on one of these styles it will affect that text in a certain way and you've got quite a lot of different styles that you can download there's some that I made myself sort of a glittery effect so this is where using like a pattern you get from the mirror effect you could use that to make a a pattern to then make a new style with um, but that is a totally different video and, and I have made that before so you can look for the link for making styles if you so wish so thank you for watching and goodbye